and welcome back to my corner of the internet. My name is Shannon and today I've got a very exciting video to share with you guys. Today I am going to be reviewing and swatching the new Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette. But more than that, what makes this video so exciting is it is a collaboration with my very good friend here on YouTube, Kathy. Her channel name is Kitty Cat Loves Makeup. And if you have not checked her out before, now is definitely the time to do it. She's an absolute treasure and I have no doubt that you are going to love her just as much as I do. So, on my channel today, I'm going to be swatching the palette, like I said. I'm going to be doing finger swatches, but also brush swatches, so you can see the difference between the two. And then when you're done here, you head on over to her channel, and you're going to get to see her do a makeup tutorial with the palette. And you're going to just love the look she created. She's so beautiful, and so talented, and I just, I can't say enough good things about her. So yes, definitely go and check her out. Of course, her link will be down in the description box below. So let's not waste any more time. Let's just jump right into the swatches. Um, we have 20 colors. So first of all, well first of all, let me show you the packaging. It's absolutely, I'm going to try not to blind you here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, one of the things with Urban Decay is that they are always stepping up their packaging game, which is something I appreciate. You know, they're a pricier brand, so you want to have that presentation that's really going to wow you. And this definitely does that. So it comes in a uh, metal packaging. And then what's really cool is you put your fingers on here in the back, and you push. And then the palette, the actual palette itself, comes on out. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to try to show you. The mirror here is in the middle. Um, so you have, on this side, you have 10 bright, bold, vibrant colors. They're all absolutely gorgeous. And then, on this side, turn it here so don't. On this side, you've got the more neutral shades. And they're all very intense. Some are glittery, some are just metallic, and they're just beautiful. Today I did a look with this one here, and I just think it's really, really striking. They're beautiful colors. The pigmentation's good. You'll see now when I put up the swatches, some are better than others. There were a few that when I swatched them, they just didn't really have a ton of color pigment payoff, but that was definitely not, not the norm. So yeah, let's just jump right on into it. All right, and here we have the first color. This is ground. Um, as you'll be able to see now in a second, it swatched both great with my finger, but also really good with the brush. So that's that's exciting. Next up, the second color is called spandex. Fun name. <laughs> and this one swatched great with my finger. Um, with the brush, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible, but um, not as good as the first one. So next up, we have this really beautiful purple called Metalhead. And the brush stroke swatch was great. It looked really good. It almost had a little more of an extra something to it than the finger stroke did. So that was really fun to see. And next we have a really pretty jewel-toned green. This one's called a mullet. Um, let's see. And yeah, the brush swatch looked pretty similar to the finger. Really pretty. So next up we have the final one in this first row here, and this is called Twisted. Um, this one didn't swatch great, I must say, but yeah, nor the brush stroke, neither of them, neither of them really swatched that great. Um, but in the pan, they sure look beautiful. Next up, we have aluminum. And aluminum's a really beautiful gray sort of color. I really love this one. And it swatched pretty good for both.
Next up, this is one of my favorite colors. This one's called Dye. Now this one was interesting because the finger swatch wasn't really anything to write home about. But when I went in with the brush, it was made very brilliant. I loved it. Next up, we have Punk Rock. Really pretty sort of pink, violet color. And again, it's swatched pretty good with the brush. This one here is called Amp. Really gorgeous sort of aquamarine color. Didn't swatch the best with the brush. The final one in row two here, we have Glam Rock. I love this one. Uh, it's swatched good with both. These shadows are very soft, so if it looks a little crumbly, that's kind of why. But so beautiful. So for line number three here, we have the first color, Base. Uh, very pretty brown. Swatched good. Also swatched good with the brush. Pretty good. Next color is called Demo. Uh, this one struggled a bit more than Bass, uh, Bass did, but you'll see here with the brush swatch. There we go. Yeah, didn't swatch the greatest with the brush. All right, number three, this is After Party. This is so gorgeous. I love this color so much. Finger swatch, brush, brush swatch, they both look stunning. Next up, we have Rhodey. This is the one I was wearing on my eyes today that I showed you in the intro to this video. Um, really pretty. And then finally here for the third row, we have Scream. Um, it's a lighter color, so of course it's not going to be as deep as the others, but the brush and the finger swatch were both pretty good. Payoff was pretty equal. Starting with the last line now, here we have Glory. This one looks beautiful in the pan, but I didn't get a ton of payoff, and you'll see here with the brush swatch. It just, it wasn't good. Next is Starfire. This one was a really pretty, really unique sort of shade. Next up we have Angel Fire. Um, beautiful, but a little light. I think on a darker skin tone it would pop a lot more and just be really beautiful. And second to last here we have Maiden. Again, very light, but um, definitely has some pigment. It's just light pigment. So... Darker skin would look amazing. And the final shade we have here is called Acoustic. I love all the names, how they're all, you know, music related, since the palette's called Heavy Metals. Anyway, again, um, ugh, just too light for my skin, so you can't really see it too much, but the pigment was there, and it's very beautiful. All right. So there you go, my friends. I hope you found this helpful. Um, don't forget to go check out Kathy's video. And if you're here from Kathy's channel, hello, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you'll subscribe and um, 
yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you on Friday with another Book Talk video. Bye!